Welcome to part 5 of our action script calculator. This is Abraham and today we'll be adding event listeners. Currently we have 17 buttons on stage and uh, since we have so many buttons and we have to add event listeners it's a good programming practice to have them inside of a function. So things are clear, the code flows smoothly. Uh, for the digits, we we'll place them inside of a, a loop, as I promised. Uh, operators will go inside of their own loop, and the dot and the clear will be on their own. Currently, CWeb has over 7,000 and growing uh, visitors every month. They come, thank you very much. They come to watch tutorials. They come to copy and paste the code. It's free. It's extensively documented. You're welcome to come. You're welcome to join. Uh, the newsletter is free. Yes, we don't collect any private data. All the information is kept private. And uh, and uh, Google Pay. We have sponsors. We run Google Pay. Uh, now, if you want to something more than, I'm only telling you to do things that I do. And uh, on the right hand of the screen, we have eight books. You can buy tons of books for a dollar or two dollars. I bought them and you just can't go wrong. After all, if you don't like the book, you just sell it for two dollars. You can even make a profit and I did. And that's what's happening now. Let's see. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Function at listeners. Again, everything in the action script is case sensitive. So add event listener is reserved, becomes blue. Add listeners is the name of the function. Again, we are defining the function, but the function call itself will be placing at the end of our code. Um, Action script scans the, the whole document when there's a function call. So in theory, we don't need to have, doesn't matter if it's the beginning of the code, the end of the code. It's good programming practice to have at the beginning, so when the code starts, it's clear. Uh, for i, uint, uint is a positive integer. As a number, it has to be positive. It's a counter. And uh, numbers dot length, length is a property. So when I type numbers, which we created on lesson 4, and I press length, the code hinting drop down showed up, and it gave me the length property, which tells me how many items the numbers have, I mean the collection has numbers dot net in our case will be 10. So start at 0 all the way to 9 and all we have to do is tell now that you go button by button they know, uh, the flash knows that it's a button array and add event listener. Now let's do the same thing for our uh, operators. Divide minus make sure that the uh, spelling of the instance names uh, that shows on the code is identical to the spelling of the instance names we entered on the stage. And again, if you guys need books, I make a commission. You don't pay anything additional and is a no-loss investment. You buy the book, you read the book, if you learn, good. If you don't learn, just resell it. Two dollars, you can't go wrong. I'm here in the Middle East. They send here, and if they send here, they send anywhere. Eight books. I'm not recommending Amazon right now. I'm recommending eight books because the books are affordable. Two dollars. You can't go wrong with the book, especially if you chose it for two dollars, and they ship. They ship. They send everywhere. And now, press operator. Press operator is the name of a function of that will fire every time that a, a, a button, an operator button is pressed. So for this we had to add listeners. So operators indexed i dot add event listener on click go to press operator. Now we have to define and will be defining this function right now because if the function is non-existent uh, Flash will say, you know what, you're telling me to go to a function that does not exist. So we'll be creating empty functions, functions for uh, 
our event listeners, even though uh, uh, they won't do anything, they have to exist, otherwise we'll get an error. And it's good practice, as we've been doing so far, to test the code at the end of each exercise to make sure there's no uh, programming mistakes, because otherwise it could be far difficult to fix them after uh, uh, further on. So we'll be creating the press number, the press operator, the clear all, and add that functions right now, even though they'll be empty, in order to prevent uh, uh, programming errors. And on the small business department, um, I like proven yes. One of them is just create, deliver, and the paid. And for that, um, I'm advising you guys something that I do myself. I am recommending payloads. Payloads, uh, you have a link on the right-hand side of the screen. Uh, they take uh, to open an account. They don't charge. It's free. They take a digital content. Could be an ebook. Could be a, an application. It could be uh, even a song. If it's digital, they take it. They sell it. They collect the money and they pay. Very sweet. They only pay them when there is a sale. No sale, no pay. Very sweet. Uh, I know people that are making serious amounts of money through payloads. Uh, Cartoon Smart is one of them. Justin. And uh, I recommend payloads. And if you open the account through SayWeb, meaning that the link is on the screen, you don't pay anything additional. And you support my tutorials. You support uh, education. And you also make money. Very sweet and recommended. Let's go back to a script. As promised, uh, we are creating empty functions. And uh, we'll be populating them in the soon future. But for now, the only purpose is to uh, avoid error messages. Since it's good practice to keep on testing the code before uh, uh, along the way, so uh, we make sure that we don't carry on any mistakes, and that's why we're placing it empty. All of them, they're just about the same. I was vent and void; they don't return any any values. And uh, we are here. To, we're here to help. We're here to uh, help people improve themselves. So my email address shows at the end of this tutorial on the screen. You are welcome to send suggestions. Welcome to send uh, remarks. I'm here, and um, and thanks for watching my tutorial. Check the sites, uh, eight books, and payloads. I recommend nothing that I don't do myself. And good luck. Thanks for watching.